Well, if you're a rideshare driver, a gig worker, an independent contractor, it sure feels like we have fallen on hard times. We have lots of opportunities to get money, but nothing is really coming through yet. In this video, we're going to look at the stimulus check, that $1,200 either direct deposit in your bank or uh, the check. We're going to look at the current state of unemployment for uh, those of us who are independent contractors. We're going to look at the EIDL. That's the $10,000 grant. And we're also going to look at the PPP, which is the Paycheck Protection Program. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you which one of these um, I feel, uh, my personal story, I feel the most confident that I'm going to receive. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater. Uh, it's uh, Sunday morning, and uh, I'm going to drink a little coffee here. It's a beautiful day here in Northern California. I swear since people are out less, the sky seems to be a bit bluer. So that's one good thing that's come from this. That's about it. Background. So uh, this whole uh, illness uh, took over the country about two months ago now. And on uh, the 27th of March, something called the CARES Act was passed which said that uh, independent contractors uh, would get, uh, you can get $1,200 stimulus check, you could get unemployment, you can get on top of unemployment $600 a week for four months, you could get the EIDL grant, you could also get the PPP loan, uh, which would be, be forgivable if, uh, if you paid yourself, you know, if you used it for payroll. So we're going to break these down one by one, and I'm going to give you the latest and greatest that we know about this, and I'll share some of the status of my my work um, on these different uh, opportunities for the driver. Number one, the stimulus checks. So this is uh, $1,200 we're supposed to get in the month of April. Um, I have not received mine yet. Uh, a friend of mine, she did receive hers. It was direct deposited into her bank account. Um, if, if the IRS did not have your direct deposit information on April 15th, you were allowed to go onto the IRS website click a button that says get my payment and uh, input your information. So I went ahead and I did that, but I still didn't get any, any money uh, in my bank account yet. So if you want to uh, go and either check your status or input your direct deposit information, here's the link, all right? So the link is uh, irs.gov coronavirus slash get my payment. And that'll, that'll take you to this page and uh, you just click on get my payment and put your information in and this morning i did that i went to see where's my payment and look what it told me you, we scheduled your check to be mailed on april 24th so that's uh, end of next week that'll be friday of next week which means i sh should get it early the following week so isn't that the government <laughs> I went there on the 15th. I gave them my direct deposit information. They said they got it. Everything was great. And now they're going to mail me a check. So we'll see. But if you uh, want to try and give them your direct deposit information, or at least see what the status of your check is, um, just follow that link and, uh, and you can get that information. Number two, unemployment benefits. So with the CARES Act, people like you and me, drivers, we're supposed to be able to get uh, full unemployment benefits plus another $600. Unfortunately, the system has not been set up for us because in order to verify us, we have to provide our own proof um, of earnings. So what I've recommended is that you apply, which I did about a month ago now. And then once you apply, then you're going to get uh, either denied or you're going to be sent something that shows your, your uh, benefits are zero. And I made a video last week about how to appeal right because you want to appeal and get your 1099s in so if you haven't seen that video go, go check that out if that's your situation now a new development is that um, in the state of california they're creating a whole new website um, for the pandemic unemployment assistance program which is just going to be for independent contractors and that's supposed to come on live april 28th and all the states are trying to deal with integrating independent contractors with the unemployment benefits. 
So all you can do is really go to your state's website, see what they're telling you. Don't wait, keep applying, keep responding to whatever they send you. And let's say yeah. um, I get standard unemployment and then I, can, I also get accepted in, with the PUA and I've got both, I'm gonna cancel one, right? So whoever sends me money first, that's the one I'm gonna go with and then I'll, then I'll drop out of the other one. But don't say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go, go this route because we don't know, right? Has anything we've been told really come true for us? No, not really. So just keep, keep putting lines in the water. Um, but at least, at least we know the states are working to uh, give us access to those funds so we can you know, uh, apply and provide our 1099s and then uh, get, get the money that we're deserved. So number three, let me just state the obvious. A lot of us can't wait, right? This is going on for two months. I haven't driven in two freaking months uh, because of this illness. So we need to find other ways that we can make money. Well, three ways we're recommending that you can look at is Instacart. Instacart's great, uh, big demand for Instacart. You could also check out uh, Postmates. Postmates uh, deliver food um, and DoorDash also. You can deliver for DoorDash. Now we're recommending that you sign up as soon as you can. And we put a link just below this video um, some, some cities are reporting that there are waiting lists uh, to get on with some of these companies. So if you want to deliver food or deliver groceries or shop inside of a store, someplace where you're not interacting with people so much in a closed environment like this, um, check those out. Number four, the EIDL, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. And then they were offering a $10,000 grant. And as an independent contractor, uh, we had 100% right to apply and get that money. Well, this has probably been the biggest disappointment of all. I only know of one person that got $1,000 and I've scoured the internet to see if anyone else is reporting that they got money put in their bank account and I only found one other person. So, uh, a real disappointment. Initially it was 10,000 and then they changed it and you can see in this email, uh, it says that to ensure the greatest number of applicants can receive assistance during this challenging time, the amount of your advance will be determined by the number of your pre-disaster employees. The advance will provide 1,000 per employee up to a maximum of $10,000. So even if you get it, it's not gonna be $10,000. It's gonna be $1,000 because most of us are independent contractors and we're the only employee. So big disappointment. So what happened? Where did all this money go? Well, that takes us to our final topic, which is the PPP. Number five, the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program. So I think this is where all the money went, right? The PPP and the EIDL draw from the, the Small Business Administration. So it's all coming from the same uh, well. If you remember in the movie, There Will Be Blood, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis is explaining to uh, someone else that, you know, there's all this oil uh, right under the ground, but you don't have to be right above it, right? As long as your straw gets in it and you suck it all, it all <laughs> gets drained out. Even though you're not over here, you can get all that oil underground to come up through your well. Well, I think that's what happened here and all the money went into the PPP. Very frustrating for those of us who are the small guys. Um, the average loan was 250K. So that tells you that uh, guys like me who applied for $20,000, well, you know, we're not getting looked at much. So initially this was not open to independent contractors. Then on April 10th, they said now it is available to independent contractors and you could use a FinTech uh, uh, business to apply. So two days later, I applied online with a company called Lendio. And lo and behold, um, my loan got processed and I have, I have a number for it. And there still might require some more paperwork, which may kill the whole deal. But at least I'm in the running. And that would be for $20,000, which is completely forgivable as long as I pay myself, which is what I'll do. I'll write the checks to me and uh, that'll be great. So I hope to hear about that this week. Now, so what's the latest? Well, the latest is that Congress is trying to get more funding to go into this PPP program. The Small Business Administration is trying to get more money. They ran out of money on Wednesday, and that means you can't, uh, can't do anything. You can't apply for the EIDL right now, and the PPP, the applications are just backing up. So my recommendation is uh, apply, 
right? Go, go, go to Lendio. Um, I made a video about this also and apply. What's the worst that can happen? Because if they start to get more money, um, then you might have a shot at, at getting something there. So that's the story on the PPP. That's the one I'm the most optimistic about actually, because they say the money is set aside for me. Um, it's partially approved. Um, so what are the key takeaways? Times are tough. Times are tough for those of us who are rideshare drivers because we're not getting anything. We're kind of getting kicked to the curb. Um, other people are getting money. Um, uh, a friend of mine, she's getting her $600 plus her 450 because she worked for a company and she just got laid off because of this thing. Couldn't be happier. For us, we're just not, we're not already pre-built into the system. So they're having to uh, work around, do these workarounds to get us, uh, to get us the money. And it's taking time, which is very difficult when we have rent to pay and food to put on the table and kids to feed and kids to send to school and all the expenses that we all live with every single day. Um, it does seem no one really gives a crap about us, but it's an uphill battle, but we are, we are, we're, uh, what are we? We're tough. We're scrappy. That's what I would say. We're scrappy. We are rideshare drivers and uh, we can, we can deal with it. Just keep applying. Just keep applying. Just, just keep putting more lines in, in the water. And eventually I can feel it. Uh, money's going to start coming in. Um, it's encouraging. Like in California, they're setting up a new website just for us. That's supposed to pay out in two days. So that's, that's great. Uh, maybe they're going to get more money for the PPP. So all we can do is look at it optimistically. If you need to work, I gave you three good options you can go and, and check out. Hey, thanks for watching. Really grateful to have you here. Uh, my name is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We're going to keep bringing you the most latest, the most current news that we have during this difficult time uh, for, for us, the drivers. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.